So what we have today is black walnut. This comes to us from longtime viewer and good friend Valerie. And you've just seen me drill a clearance hole here for my chuck jaws to set against. In the middle of that, I drilled a hole for my woodworm screw. We're going to get it mounted up and get to turning this seven by seven by about three and a half inch piece. And black walnut is always a treat to turn, so I'm looking forward to this. It's probably going to have squarish ends. These two ends will probably still be squarish by the time we're done. And I always like to bring up the tailstock, spin the piece up, and let that live center find its own hole. And it has. I'm going to bring up the tool rest and we'll get at it. We're going to be using a 5 8 inch bowl gouge. We're going to be turning at, I have no idea. About 560 RPM, mask and face shield on. We're going to work here from the top side down, trying to keep that bark on as much as we can. And this is going to be fun. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, as we like to say here at Shady Acres Woodshop. Howdy. Now that's probably enough for now. I want to come down and flatten off the bottom. Maybe you can see the chisel bouncing around here when I get down. That's because the bottom's not flat. Oh, just about got it. I'm still going to work on this corner now that I've flattened off the bottom. if that got it. I don't really want to go any rounder. I like what we have going on here. Okay, back to the bottom. I went ahead and cut that little nub off just so we could start fresh. And now we can mark out for the tenon. And I think I'm done with the tailstock. Now I'm going to use this diamond point tool to square up the sides of the tenon. And that's good. Time for sanding. I'm going to start the sanding with my Sando Flex. This is 180 grit. I'm going to sand all of the bark, all, all that I can reach, and I'll stop at 180 grit on the bark. Then I'll switch to my 2 inch disc starting at 80 grit and sand the piece while it's spinning in reverse. And I'll do forward as well, uh, 80 grit up through 400, and I'll show you what both of those look like as soon as I get my mask on.
and I'll come at it this way and this way until it's all nice and smooth and clean, but it won't really change how it looks. And that'll be pretty easy peasy. I'll bring you back here in just a little bit and we'll put some kind of finish on there. See you in a bit. Well, I'll bet this is going to look really good. Sand it up really nice. Real smooth. Yeah, that's going to look really good. This is a shellac based sanding sealer that I'm applying. And then I'll apply shellac over this. Two coats of each. And sometimes people want to know the brand. It's uh, Zinzer. Zinzer Seal Coat is what this is. And then Zinzer Shellac is what I'll put over that. Yeah, that's going to be beautiful. And I'm going to brush the bark, but first I got to get right around here a little bit. No bug holes in this piece, at least not so far. I don't want to wipe up any brush marks I might have made on there. Then I know you can't see the bark. That's kind of by design. I like you to be surprised because it just makes the piece pop. So, I'll, like I said, two coats of this, two coats of shellac. I'll bring you back and we'll start working on the inside and I'm really looking forward to that. See you in a bit. I have the piece turned around with the tenon mounted up in the chuck. I've made a mark right here because I want to save this. I like this feature. And I like the little eyebrow above it. So I want to try and stay inside of that, which means coming over here about an inch. So the bowl will end up being about two inches bigger than it is. So this shouldn't take very long, as long as we don't blow it. We're going to be turning out, I have no idea again. I forgot to check. Gee whiz, Phil. Get your stuff together. 600 RPM, 5 8 inch bowl gouge, mask, and face shield on. See how close I got there. Um, can go almost a quarter inch more. I hope I didn't make my hole too deep. It's going to be close, but it's not too deep. I'm going to go sharpen up. And we'll scrape. Okay, time for sanding. I'm going to start sanding with my 2 inch disc at 80 grit, working up through 400 grit. I'll have the piece spinning forward and reverse, reverse first, and the lathe will be spinning at about 360 RPM, and I'll show you what that looks like as soon as I get my mask on.
That's reverse and then forward. That doesn't look like much of a problem. I'll go ahead and sand through 400. I'll put the finish on. I'll bring it back here in a bit and we will take the tenon off. See you in a bit. I've mounted a block of wood up in my chuck. It's got a non-slip surface. I'm going to place the bowl over that and bring up the tailstock. I still have that center hole there for reference so I could just drive my live center into that. Bring up my tool rest. I'll spin the piece up see if it's running true. It's right on the money. Turn the speed up to about 550. I'm going to grab a 3 8 inch bowl gouge and commence to removing that tenon. We'll stop and check for clearance. We have good clearance. Just keep working it away. Now that's pretty small. I want to get my tool rest a little bit higher and a little bit closer. And we'll switch to a 3 8 inch sweat back bowl gouge so that I can get in there closer. And I'll turn the speed down to about 400 RPM. Now that's quite small. I'm going to turn the speed down to about 200 RPM. I'm going to apply the bevel of the gouge against the bottom of the bowl. Pressure towards the headstock, right hand on the gouge, left hand on the switch. And when the little nub stops turning, we'll know we're through. Like that. Now I'll just take this over here to the workbench, sand that up, sign it, get it finished, and I'll be right back. Be sure you stick around at the end of the video so you can see the before and after shot to this piece. If you'd share the video, I'd really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Well, here it is. One black walnut live edge bowl in the books. What do you think? I know some people don't like square edges like that. But in this case, I think it really fits. Uh, because we have kind of a flat side here, just a natural flat side. And then we have the, the two cut edges. And then we have a round side. It's kind of an interesting shape, don't you think? And that bark is beauteous. And there's the bottom all finished up. Upside down and all. I know, I know. I bought a yellow Sharpie. I bought a white Sharpie. They don't, they just don't work. So I, I'm sorry, you can barely read what I wrote, but it's there, you can read it if you're here in person. I think it's pretty cool. I just really like it. And you can't hardly go wrong with walnut. And look at that really cool feature. And you can see how that came to be inside here. And see where the branch started inside the tree and went right on through. And that's where it broke off. That's cool. Proof of life. I hope you like it. I sure do. It was fun to do. Thank you, Valerie, for sending this along for all to enjoy. If you like this video, thumbs up, please. I'd sure appreciate it. If you're a subscriber, thank you very kindly. I truly appreciate that. If you're not a subscriber, you might consider becoming one. I put out regular videos about one a week, and I'd like to keep in touch. An easy way to subscribe is just click my picture you see there near the end of the video. Your comments are always welcome and I love reading them. So for now, this is Phil, Shady Acres Woodshop, signing off.